nicely from the flap delete. You can see right there with that second RPM drop, things have stabilized. So things are a little bit more lumpy than I would like on idle, but that's just a flap delete thing, okay? Once the, the revs drop like that and everything is fine, it's okay. There's that sound again. You see? <laughs> what is that? See, there it goes away. See, it goes right away there as if it's like something electronic that's controlling it, which is kind of odd, but whatever, we'll figure that out too. I mean, what's the temperatures out here right now? The car hasn't been turned on in a while. You guys saw I was in service position for that previous repair, but uh, yeah, it's not plus 1.5 outside. The car's been in the garage. It is below zero here. But you can see that that sound is a temperamental thing of the temperature related. Okay, we'll let it warm up a bit and then we'll switch it around. Now, while we wait here, I mean, the traction control light could go away on its own with some driving. Uh, one Instagram person told me that worked for them. And also, if you guys remember in put back part eight, traction control light was half working, like it was off and I could turn traction on and off. So this might be odd, but the traction control light system is mostly ABS and brake light switch related. So we'll go over the circuitry of that at another point or you can just read up on it. So the brake light switch, pedal switch, whichever one it is, I'm not gonna change for now. We're just gonna change the bulbs, although I don't think they have much relation. I still wanna have the, the running tail light bulb and the brake light bulb working, because that's a silly thing to get pulled over for. And we'll see if that helps. I don't think it'll make much of a difference, but we'll do that. I'll change the bulbs out, and we'll see if that helps the traction control light. If not, that'll continue. But the traction control light isn't a big deal for now. Believe it or not, guys, just pulling the car here. Let me turn that display on. Believe it or not, just pulling the car out of the garage, turn the traction control light off by itself. Now, that was, I mean, really interesting. The car only needed to move 15 meters there. Come on, focus, don't ruin my video. So let's try the ESP button now. Okay, there it is, flashing. That is a correct thing to push it once and have it flashing, it's half traction off. Now, let's see if it turns off. Perfect, turned off with a click of the button. Now I'm going to push it. That's half traction off. Now I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna push it and hold it for, I think it's somewhere between five to 15 seconds. We'll do 10. And it should then go on solid once I let go, which is full traction control off, my favorite mode. So I'm holding it. And we'll let go now. Oh, it did not. Uh oh, see, now it's acting up again. Who? okay, see, I'm just pushing it once and it just flashes on and off, the ESP button. I've had this problem before. So let's try, I really don't wanna turn it on and off because of the starter, but okay, let me try holding it again for another 10 seconds. Let's see if it cooperates with us.
Okay, not working. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the car in the middle of the driveway. Okay, let's turn it back on. Okay, the traction control light's off, but... All right. Okay, it's work. Yeah, it's working again. With an on and off. So this weird traction control light thing's been going on for a while. We'll do the bulbs. I might do the, again, forgive me, I can't remember if it's a brake light pedal switch or the brake light switch. I think they're both the same. Audi line people on forums love using trippy terminology to make ourselves sound smarter. I don't know. Okay, whatever. But we'll we'll figure this out. But at least we can get half control. Yeah. Okay. What am I saying? Last year, when this car had all kinds of intermittent electronic problems, I could almost always get half traction off with turning the key on and off once. In earlier stages, I could get both stages of traction off, so the full light illuminated by holding down for about 10 seconds. Now it only gives me full track, sorry, half traction off once when I turn off the car. But now that we are here, let's try it one more time, okay? Let's see if it only works once on an on and off. So I'm gonna push the button once to make the light go away. Okay, light is gone. Now let's push it one more time and see what happens. Okay, it's working a second time. Let's turn it off, one push, and it's gone. See that whiny pump sound is starting to go away by itself now that the car's on. Let's do it one more time. Okay. It is working. So this could be an intermittent electronic thing with the traction control circuit loops on the car. Which, I, like I said, we'll get into more if necessary. But let's now... Okay, here's what we'll do. Instead of going from the flashing mode to the full off mode, I'm going to turn it off. So one click there. And now I'm only going to hold it for, I don't know, roughly 10 to 15 seconds, starting now, and we'll see if we get a solid light. Okay, I'm letting go now. Nope, doesn't work. Let's push it again. See, once I attempt the solid light, it doesn't work at all. Like, like you know what I mean? Right, right now I'm trying to push it to get my intermittent, not intermittent. I'm pushing it to try to get my flashing mode, which is half traction control off, and it will not give it to me at all. Now let's turn it off and we'll try not going to half mode traction off first. We'll try to go to full traction off right off the bat. So car off, start it up. Headlights are all working. I don't know why it's giving these messages. Probably a level sensor thing, but we'll get into that too. Okay, ESP button down. Let's wait about 10 seconds. I hope I remember right that it's 10 seconds. Oh, we'll hold it a bit longer this time, okay? I'll keep going up to, I don't know, say about 15 to 20 seconds. Maybe even 30, okay? Let's just totally wait. That's me giving some gas just to warm her up a bit. Okay, I'm gonna let go of the button now. And nothing. Okay, let's see if now after that start, if I just push the button once, if we get half mode off. Nope, the button is completely acting up. I mean, at least the light is off the dash, but if you're somebody like me, traction control off is a great feature of the, any vehicle, which we don't really get in modern vehicles, so we'll figure this out. I'm not gonna stop repeating myself, but I'm just gonna change the bulbs for now and 
even though it, I haven't read any cases of this being a solution for people, the brake pedal switch when the traction control light's acting like this, it's usually a solid traction control light that won't go away. But the brake pedal switch is cheap enough that we'll get one, we'll swap it and see if it works. But for now, I think we should get the belt buckle and see if we can get rid of the airbag light. If it's something else, we'll have to keep taking it from there. So one thing we're also not going to rule out is that there's something wrong with the actual switch itself, the button for the ESP, because you see, after a little bit, it just does that when you, you when you push it. Okay, if you hold the button, it'll leave it illuminated. As soon as you let it go, it goes off. Or if you click it, you just get that. Let's see if we figure this out. So after a short drive on the street, the traction control light has not come back on. The car is running decently smooth. Brakes have never been the best, but they're okay. Cleared them up a bit. Let's start working on the car again. with the car all warmed up there's no more of that whining sound from the engine 